I'm Bert Foster. I've been a knife maker for 14 years. Probably make between two and 400 knives a year. I still am fascinated by the process of completely transforming a raw material into something different. My name's Chad Osborne. I'm a farrier. I shoe horses for six months out of the year. The other six months, I forge blades. Chad, Bert, congratulations. You've made it to the Forged and Fire final. Now we're sending you back to your home forges to recreate an iconic blade from history. Oh, oh. The Chattel. Oh. The Chattel is a blade that originates from Abyssinia, part of ancient Ethiopia. The curve of the Chattel's blade is almost semicircular, similar to the Persian Shamshir, and its sharp double edges make it a highly functional and effective weapon in battle. Its shape was designed for warriors on foot to hook around an enemy shield to strike vital organs and to dismount an enemy from their horse. The Chattel has also been popularized in gaming culture, notably in the mythological Dark Souls gaming series. It must be a lethal working version of that deadly blade. You will have five days to accomplish this task at your home forge. Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in five days. Good luck. I'm going up against the master bladesmith. This is what he does. This is his living. But the playing field could be even. He's never made a chattel. The first thing I do today is I gotta make Damascus. I gotta get the blade bent. Yeah. I gotta shape it in the correct form. I want more bend. Tweak all the edges. A little magic in the blade. Dink with that blade till it gets good. I gotta get the chattel heat treated. That sounds like success. I really feel good about my blade. The Damascus work, the quench work, everything just came together beautifully on this blade. Even if I don't win, I'm really proud of this blade. It's awesome. I'm excited. This is the part of the competition I was looking forward to. Day one, we're going to design, we're going to make the steel, forge it into a blade. All right, here we go. I'm making the first fold of the Damascus. It's probably not really quite hot enough to make the fold properly, but I do it anyways, and that sets up this off-kilter fold that's got me a little concerned. I think we'll be OK. Because of this ladder pattern, the blade will have what's referred to as a chatoyancy, which is the illusion of movement when light plays off it in different directions. The hard thing about this is that I'm not going to know how it really feels until I'm like two or three days into this. Well, this is a shape I've never made before. I cannot get in and just go full speed and bang it out because by the time I realize there's a problem, it's going to be too late. I'm going to grind the bevels in, grind the tapers, and then we're going to heat treat it. I think we're good. This is where the magic happens. With quenching, there's more that can go wrong in one tiny span of time than any other part of it. I am good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Today's all about the handle. The only way I can design it is against my own hand. But I actually paid attention when I shook the judge's hands so that if anybody had Oompa Loompa hands, or like King Kong hands, I was going to bear that in mind. All of a sudden, it just occurs to me, what if the blade breaks? <laughs> I decided to stop and just throw that handle on there and go out and cut something. See what happens. It really cut, had a lot of power in the cut. I mean, it's brutal. It's raw. We laid waste to a couple of small trees. I feel a lot better about finishing this up now. <laughs> Bert, Chad, welcome back to the forge. You've had five days to work on your chattel, so I hope you used your time wisely. We will now be testing your weapons in three different trials. Doug? Bladesmiths, this is the strength test. The Ethiopian chattel evolved from a sickle, an agricultural tool that was used to harvest crops and cut plants. 
To test the strength and function of your blade according to its historic design, I will slash you these vines. Bert, you're up. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Well, Bert, your edge held up. I don't see any deformations or anything in there. It's got very good balance. I love the feel of your handle. The way you made it, there's a good flare to prevent it from slipping. Cut through the vines easily. And for this strength test, it held up. Good job, sir. Thank you. Chad, you're up. Ready? I'm ready. Well, Chad, for the strength test, looks like your edge held. No deformations, handle feels good, and as expected with the hook design, it would catch on that. This, sir, is a strong blade. Good job. Thank you. Next test is the kill test. To test the lethality of your blade, I will attack this ballistic dummy. Bert, you're up. You ready? I'm ready. Well, Bert, <laughs> it's a sharp blade to penetrate all the way through, and you slice through the clavicle into the breastbone. Obviously, probably gutted him pretty well. It will kill. Chad, you're up. Are you ready? I'm ready. That really dug into this dummy, and they want to let him go. Got a good laceration on the side. This will also kill. Good job, sir. Thank you. Next, to test the sharpness of the inside edge of your blade, I will take your weapon, and I will slice through the slab of meat. Bert, you're up. You ready? Ready. This is a very sharp blade. No indentations, no deformations. It will cut. Thank you. Chad, it's your turn. You ready? I'm ready. Well, Chad, it didn't slice you the way I was hoping it would. The inside edge isn't razor sharp. It did cut through a little bit, but then again, because of your design being a hook, it got caught up on the meat. Well, gentlemen, there can only be one Forged and Fire champion. Bert, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion. Thank you. Chad, your Chattel did not make the cut. Chad, your chattel was designed to go around a shield and puncture deeply, but it's also that hook that prevented you from making it a very good slashing weapon. Please surrender your chattel. Chad, thanks Thank so you. much. I've come a long way. My creativity has been awakened, doing things I've never done, and I'm proud of that. Bert, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion, and that title comes with a check for $10,000. Thank you. I won. I won. It's got all the historic aspects that a Chattel should have, but it's really got your signature style. This taught me that I can do something completely outside my comfort zone, and I can figure it out. Guys, I did it. Kids, you can do it. Take risks.